is my brine shrimp container. It's got salt water. I put eggs in it. Uh, I've taken the airline out of the top. It sits on a glass bowl from the dollar store to hold it upright. Now, I put this light on it to get all the shrimp to come over to the same spot. I'll leave it alone for a few minutes. I'll get all the shrimp down at the bottom over to the side. Then I'm going to take this plastic hose. It's got a piece of stiff tubing on it. And I'm going to siphon where the shrimp are. See, there's a whole bunch of shrimp collecting there. And there'll be a whole lot collecting down near the bottom. I'm going to siphon those shrimp into this container. This container will just be down here. And I'm going to siphon it right in using this hose. Now it takes one hand in, one hand in the other container, so can't really film that because I got to hold the camera at the same time. But it's pretty simple. You put this down in, suck on the other end, and, and gravity will feed the shrimp and the salt water into that smaller container. That's how I get the shrimp out. I don't want the eggshells on the top, they're not edible, that's what's hatched. And down on the very bottom is the shells that have not hatched yet, they're not edible either. What I want is a little roll that will be right above it. That's where the live shrimp are. Okay, this is the water that I siphoned out of my brine shrimp hatchery bottle. You see over there, I siphoned it into here. This has got shrimp and the salt water. Now I'm going to pour this through the brine shrimp net so that I have just the shrimp and then the salt water falls on through. So down underneath here will be a few eggs, a handful of newly hatched shrimp that survived that went through the net. And then in here is the major part of the shrimp that I'm going to go put, rinse in fresh water and feed to my fish. All right now, here's the salted drain through when I separate the shrimp. And here's my container. And as you can see, the container has got up to the big knuckle of water. Not a whole lot of water in it yet. Got just an airline bubbling. And before I pour this in, because I can see them pretty easy, I want to show you what the shrimp look like. Now this is just my leftover shrimp water every day. Wow. And I really need to be feeding these shrimp. Tomorrow I'll be feeding the shrimp to the, to the fish, because there are just a lot of shrimp. And they're in maybe a gallon, gallon and a half of water. So I'm going to pour this water in. And that's, this is the salt water after I've siphoned the shrimp out. And that's it. I pour it in. I'll sprinkle a little uh, spirulina powder on there to feed them all. And in the uh, next container, just to jump in real quick, is the Daphnia. Flare's kind of strong. There's a good, good crop of Daphne in here. So oh, this is my, my little area here with one little light, a couple little barbs, raising lots of food for the fish.